Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Peter Parkour. And I'm Nereo Jossi. And we are the, the Distorted, Distorted Theorists. Theorists. So, what do we got today, Pete? Let them have it. I'm excited for this one because I know nothing about it. <laughs> I know stuff about stuff that everyone has else has seen. Okay. But Amazon is making a cute little TV show that cost half a billion dollars Ooh. to make. And it is about? Lord of the Rings, Lord the, of the Rings, Rings of Power. Let's so get it. This is apparently going to be taking place in the Second Age okay. when the Dark Lord Sauron. I wonder if we'll see Celebrimbor in this. Now, I only know about Celebrimbor from the uh, Mordor games. Full um, disclosure, any of these names he's about to say, I'm probably going to go, I know not, some lore and I'll get into that later. They might but. not even be real names. I'm just messing with you. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, this is going to be, like, we heard at the beginning, like, yep. there, there was darkness as it spread through. Which was a really cool little teaser. Yeah, nine yep. rings given to the uh, race of men, seven yep. to the dwarves, yep. all that stuff. And apparently this series is going to be about how those rings were distributed. Which okay. is interesting, mm. because... Um, but they were each of them lied to, but there was another. The one yeah, ring. The one ring to rule them all. Yes. Uh, but, like, I uh, just wanted to share with our viewers, I guess... Personally, my experience with Lord of the Rings or, or that world and the lore mm. uh, is I did read The Hobbit and I did read Lord of the Rings, albeit for school English, mm -hmm. but I did enjoy them. It was one of the very, very few books that I did enjoy reading that we were forced to read by school. Uh, but nonetheless, it was so cool. And of course, I do own all the movies. I've watched all the movies multiple times and uh, but, they're but, so cool. They're, they're, but have you watched the extended editions? I didn't, but I feel like you have. Oh, yeah, several times. Yeah. It's great. It's a great way to waste a day. So tell me again how you get so much top tier. Um, nonetheless, um, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna react to this trailer for you. Let's get into it. You ready? Uh huh. All right, let's do this. Lord of the Rings or Power of the Ring. Let's get into the trailer. Oh God, that stuff. Haven't you ever wondered? It's a boat. What else is out there? It looks just like the movie already, like the space. Half a billion dollars. Beyond our wandering. It's moose people. I can feel it. That's beautiful. She looks completely CGI. Before the fellowship. He caught. It showed me nothing. It showed I nothing. It. I love it. Uh, it was, first of all, that was visually stunning. What's well, going to be? Uh, and it, there, it, and it, this it, is still, like, they're still in post-production, so that's only going to look nicer. Right. But uh, one thing that could be said about Lord of the Rings movies, and of course the successor, The Hobbit, in, that, in the movie world, um, still holds up. Like the graphics and and the you know it, it's somewhat obviously yes there's been improvements but well, I mean uh, the like, sheer you know cinematography of these lands that are created by J.R. Well, right well here's the thing because and this is this is where I go get a little bit into because I mean I when when sure. Lord of the Rings came out in oh one oh two and oh three like yeah. I I ate the mm -hmm. I just went mm -hmm. for that and and watching the movies watching the special features learning how they made the movies and everything like that yeah. and. Like, if you're not familiar with it, and if you were fooled by it, a lot of the set pieces in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, mm -hmm. they were what they called bigatures, because they were miniatures. They were actually scaled down set pieces that they built. So like the tower, the the the, the forest before the trees moved, mm -hmm. um, Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, well, maybe not Minas Tirith, that might have been more uh, CGI, but they were all these like towers that they built out of foam and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But they held up because you couldn't really tell. And it was this really clever bit of like trick yeah, photography that they used for it. I know. It's yeah. it's amazing. Watch the special features. It's yeah, so yeah. good. But then when they went, they were like, oh, we're going to do The Hobbit. I'm like, cool. We're going to break into three movies. Why? Anyways, they did. <laughs> One and book. it was <laughs> so much green screen in it. And while it still yeah, was fair. a good looking movie, you're like, that yeah. still looks incredibly fake. But when you're watching the battles of Helm's Deep and you're like... That, that Can we just pause for a moment and say that the Battle of Helm's Deep is still probably top five 
moments in a movie that like it took several yeah. months to film. Yeah. It it's was, it's, it was so really, well it was the, it's so well put together. It's so well put together. The stunt team actually, see a little bit of tidbit that there I got for you. The stunt Let team actually, had, or the production team and the stunt team for the Helm's Deep actually had t-shirts made once they finished as like, I survived Helm's Deep <laughs> because it was months of filming, grueling, fighting in the water, doing this. No, there was it. thousands. And the makeup alone for the orcs oh and stuff must have been. But anyways, crazy. that was the Lord of the Rings. So now we're into the Rings of Power. Yep. So this takes place, thou well, at least it's an age before because we're in the third age. Okay. In the Lord of the Rings. Okay. I think we're in the third age, because then it is then when Aragorn gets crowned, it becomes the fourth age. I think that's how it works. <laughs> so it's this is the second age. Yeah. I was I was I heard rumors because they're ageless mm. of sorts, is that we're supposed to see Galadriel in this. We won't but see But we didn't see nothing in the trailer. Well, we, that we of, know of. of. Yeah. There was an elf that her had her hair pulled back and she looked True. a little bit pissy, so I don't know. Could that like could have been her. Mm. It wouldn't be an older version. True that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm excited to see it. I that. can't wait to see it. That's in Prime. Ooh, yeah, you got so my subscription. Yeah. Amazon, sponsor us. Uh, it's, I wonder, uh, will they be dropping episodic, or will it be like, here's three, here's four, here's binge watch? What do you think? Well, I mean, as we've learned anything from the legend of Vox Machina made by Critical Role, Matthew Mercer, and many others, they release three episodes at a time. Yes. So they could be doing... Something like that. Cool. Or where it's an hour long show, they might do like the premiere and then one, two, three, and then do episode. Yeah. I don't know how many episodes are supposed to be in this. I don't know if it's supposed to be four, six, 12, 25. I have no idea. Half a billion dollars went into this. I this mean, is insane. It's got to be something to it. Jeff Bezos has to spend his money on something. <laughs> but that's our trailer reaction for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. There you go. Work with me. Peter, Arri take them home. Arriving on September 2nd on Amazon Prime and only Amazon Prime. Anyways, I'm Peter Parkour. I'm the real Jossie. And like we always say around <laughs> here, keep, keep it real. real.